these look amazing. <laughs> I am so obsessed with these four ingredient ribs. You guys are gonna love them. So if we have a look at our pork, first of all, I have got a rack of pork spare ribs. And spare ribs come from the belly part of the pork. Uh, you could use baby back ribs as well, which are the, the shorter ribs. Go for whatever has the most meat, I reckon. So when you're at the butcher, just have a look, whether it's the baby back or the spare ribs, just choose the meatier one. Uh, and I'm just gonna cut through these ribs so that we get maximum sauce on all of our rib pieces. You could of course do this, um, leave it as a whole rack and do it that way as well, but I really like this because we get a lot of sauce all over each individual rib and we're maximizing the amount of rib that's going to be exposed to the heat, creating that nice charry stickiness. Okay, so there are ribs and the sauce itself is super simple, which is another reason why I love this recipe. Just want some hoisin, some tomato ketchup. And now you want to spice the element. You could actually leave this out and just add a little bit more ketchup, but I like my ribs to be sticky, sweet and spicy. So I'm adding some sriracha sauce, chili sauce to mine, but you could use sambal olic, like a chili paste, um, or a hot sauce that you particularly like. Anything to add a little bit of spicy goodness. Okay, let me give that a mix. Now before we mix the ribs in with the sauce, I'm going to save about a quarter of a cup of this yummy, spicy, sweet sauce. And I'm gonna use that to finish off the ribs at the end. Now season those ribs with a little bit of salt and then add these guys into your sauce. Give them a good mix. Okay, now we're gonna cook these ribs in two stages. First of all, we want the low and slow stage, which is gonna make our pork ribs nice and tender. Now we're basically gonna make a foil bag for these ribs so that they really steam and get nice and tender in there. So I'll put these ribs out onto one sheet of foil. Spread those out so they're in a nice even layer. And then take another sheet of foil and wrap them up. Seal that nice and tight. And the genius part about doing this in the foil bag is that we have less washing up to do afterwards. And now we just set and forget. Low oven, two hours. Oh, this rib smells so good already. Now just lift your foil parcel carefully out of the tray and then open up that foil bag. Oh, that smell is amazing. Okay, and they're so incredibly tender, so be gentle and transfer them over onto your baking tray. Again, the foil is genius because we don't want to be cleaning up any sticky, sweet, burny spots on the tray afterwards. Now take some of that reserved sauce from earlier and just give those a beautiful brushing of that sweet, sticky, spicy sauce. Really make sure they're all covered. Okay, now that goes back into a hot oven for about five to 10 minutes. You need to watch these because of that sweet sauce, they can burn easily. We just want a little bit of a charry edge on the outside of those ribs. Now, don't these look amazing? They are so incredibly tender that I'm just gonna have to use a little spatula to get that off the tray and onto my serving plate. Oh, they smell so amazing. Four ingredient ribs, ah, oh, epic. And now for the final test. I always say ribs should be soft enough to be cut with a spoon. Not that you're gonna eat that with a spoon because it's ribs and you should eat it with your fingers. Mm. So good guys, you've gotta make this.